We commit today into your able hands, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, good morning, good evening, my brothers and my sisters out there. How are you all doing today? I know you're fine to the glory of the Lord. Yes, I know you're fine. Because if God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody, nobody. We are coming out strong daily, whether the devil likes it or not. Hallelujah. So today, I've come to encourage you never to give up on your dream. No matter what is happening to you right now, don't give up on that, that great dream you had concerning yourself. That great vision, that great zeal that you have inside of you. No matter how the thing is going, don't give up. You might say this year is coming to an end. What is the dream I had great concerning myself about what I want to do is not coming forth. It's going to come forth. Don't give up on that your dream. Continue to live that dream. Don't say, no, I, I have a dream at the beginning that when I start this business, that when I start what I'm doing now, I'm going to end great. But it seems it seem as if now it's going rough. It seems as if it's going tough. I understand what you want to live. You want everything to be rosy. Yes, I know. But remember that your dream must come the way God wants it to be. But what I want from you is never to give up. Don't give up. Always be strong and be encouraging God. Don't give up. It might be lit you now the way you planned it, but it's not coming the way you, you want it to be. I am here to tell you never to give up. Yes, you have a dream that you are going to marry this year, but this you, you have a dream that you are going to marry this month. You have a dream that you are going to marry next month, but the, the, the next month, uh, three months has passed. The husband is not coming forth. The business you, you, you had concerning, you had dream about, now you are doing it. It's like it's struggling here and there. It's like it's not going where. Don't give up. Continue to push. Continue to push. It might be as if it's going tough right now. It might be as if it's not the way it's supposed to be right now. What I want from you is never to give up. And that is what God wants for you. That is what God wants for you. The plan of the enemy concerning us is to start and fail. Is to start and say, no, we can't do it anymore. I, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't know that that is the way the road may, will be. I don't know that this is the way the road will be. But now it's like the road is not, is not going the way I want it. I want to stop. This is not what I want. You see, that is where devil will laugh at you. But Jesus Christ wants you to, when you fall, you rise again. Jesus Christ don't want you to remain on the ground. Don't remain on the ground and another thing is that when you have not been living your dream start living your dream right now don't say i can't do it you can do it don't say no this dream that i had concerning myself is too big for me i cannot achieve it you can achieve it start small you will be there start small you will be there no matter the the if you are doing the business now people are not coming what you are doing now people are not coming people are not seeing you you want to give up because they are not seeing you? Why do you want to do that? The dream that God gave to you must be fulfilled. Do you remember the story of Joseph in the Bible? When Joseph has a dream about himself, do you know the brother was not there? When he was talking to them, they don't understand. Rather, what do they do? They plan to sort him out. They plan to sort him out. Did you see Joseph give up on his dream? No, they did not give up. He did not give up on his dream because he knew the dream he had concerning himself. No matter what, no matter how the struggle may be, sometimes you may need Pharaoh to reach your dream. Sometimes you may need scandal to reach your dream. Sometimes you need that rough time to reach where you are going to. I am telling you, sometimes when something is difficult, it's not the time you need to weak is the time you need to be strong is the time you need to receive more encouragement from god is the time you need to read that bible verse that said the lord is a stronghold in the days of trouble i will hold him strong is the time you need to read that bible that says jesus christ has given power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies nothing shall by enemies hurt me is the time to, to read that bible that says then that know the lord they shall be strong and they shall do exploit is the time 
time for you to confess that word of God that says the path of the righteous is like a shining light that shines brighter and brighter into the perfect day. It's the time for you to confess to yourself, say, no, I cannot go down because Jesus gave me this dream. He says to me that I should go and be fruitful, multiply, subdue the hell and have dominion over all the fish of the sea. That is what God says to me. God says I am the head. God says I will go and win and not to fail. That is the confession that God wants you to always confess to yourself. Not to say to yourself, no, you call me to do this, but it's not going the way I want it to be. It's not the way you want it to be. It's the way God wants it to be. God's way that he wants your dream to be must come to pass. So if your dream is going the way you are seeing it right now, it's not meant to pee you down. You are not meant to be pulled down. You are meant to encourage with that mistake that you have made. That mistake that you have made concerning where you are going. You correct yourself concerning it and continue to push. Continue to go. Continue to go with God by your side. You can do all things. Never give up on your dream. And don't say no. It's very small. The way I want it is not so. Don't give up on your dream. Do you know what the devil wants? He wants that zeal in us to die in us. He wants that passion that we have in us to die in us. He wants that dream that we had concerning ourselves great to die in us. But we say no. We know the Lord we stand. We can never fall. Even though we fall, we will rise again. Don't say, no, I want to go. I want to enter my house. I don't think I can do this anymore. People are not supporting my dream. People are not supporting my vision. People that I want to want them to support me. Even my brothers, even my sisters, they are not supporting me. No, I just want to rest. That is what the devil wants, my dear. That is the, what the devil wants. You that know the dream you had concerning yourself, continue to go. Don't die with your dream. Don't die with your vision. Don't die with your passion. You that know that vision that, that concerns yourself, continue to go with it. People will not understand your passion. People will not understand your dream. Unless God opened their eyes to see, that is where the people that God opened their eyes to see, will see. But if God did not open their eyes, how can they see your vision? How can they see your dream? It will be difficult for them to see. Because... They can't know your dream. They were not there when you were dreaming that great, that, that great dream that you had. I wish Joseph's brother was there when Joseph was dreaming the dream concerning himself. They, they could have understood. Rather, even though they know it will happen, even though they feel it in themselves, they sold him out. Why are you receiving persecution today? Why are you receiving a lot of things today? Why are you going through that trauma right now? Why are you going through that, 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 that hard time right now? You say, no, I want to give up this dream. God will not be happy when you give up. Because God wants you to go. God wants you to say, yes, I can do it. I can do it. If God be for me, who can be against me? I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Nothing is too hard for my God to do. He said, when I believe in him, I will do all things. No matter what comes my way, if I fall, I will rise again. Yes, that is what God wants for you. That is what God wants for you. That marriage did not work out. God don't want you to give up by yourself. That child that you just gave birth to right now, God don't want you to give up concerning him. That business that you had that is not going, God don't want you to give up concerning him that business what god wants for, from you is to continue to go is to continue to push put him along and continue to push january is this december is going to go to an end what you have to decide within you no i must leave my dream whether the devil likes it or not if there is something that god give you to do that you have abandoned before say to yourself no i will never abandon this time i must go back to live my dream you are you are singing people are not buying your music people are not playing your music as a pastor people are not listening to you you say you want to quit your dream you 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 have a business people are not buying from you you say you want to quit your dream you say you want to quit your passion don't do that as a child of god we don't need to think failure continue to live your dream continue to pursue pursue Pursue, continue to pursue, continue to go with the strength of God in you. The strength of God is in you. I need to end this video here. I don't want it to be too long. 
a lot of people died with their passion, died with their dream. They are living their dream inside their room. It's time for you to come out and live your dream to the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray for you today. You that have no self-esteem to live your dream because of your past or you that says, no, this dream is not coming forth. I want to give up. I want to lose it. I put the boldness of God into you right now. I pray for you to go from strength to strength. I pray for you that you will never give up. Rather, you will go. I pray for you for God to give you that power, that, that overcoming mindset, that power of ruling, that power that says I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me i pray for god to put that power inside of you right now you are born to win never give ear to failure never said i will fail because do you know why you will never fail you are born to win have it in the side of your mind have it on your head that you are born to win take care of yourself i love you but remember jesus love you even more better Merry Christmas in advance. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please press the red button that says subscribe. Take care of yourself and press the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when I upload. I love you all, my subscribers. Thank you all that is praying for me. May God continue to bless you, guide you, show, make his face to continue to shine upon you and your family in Jesus' name. Take care of yourself. Bye.